right, I'm cutting down some hubs. These were uh, late 720 uh, or hard body hubs. And the registration on the center here uh, is like four inches and it needs to get cut down to three and a half. So I've already done that. That was just straightforward uh, lathe stuff, you know. Get to the uh, face here and get a measurement, you know. Anyway, uh, so partly for my records, the angle, because I'm trying, I'm going to replicate the angle. I'm going to come out an, uh, an eighth of an inch, 0.125, and then I'm going to put a uh, 25 degree, 65 degree actually, uh, angle on it, 65 degrees from the wheel mounting surface face here. Okay, so I've got the compound set at 25. That's uh, what's going on. It is on a spindle. This spindle is a is an old truck spindle. The bearings don't match this hub, but you know everything's perfectly ground in that stuff. So by the time you put it together and clamp it in, everything runs very concentric, um, very true. So it doesn't really matter. So I can use this spindle with those bearings for uh, drum brake hubs or ball joint hubs. Uh, so anyway, then basically I have a bolt here acting as the dog to catch the jaws here. I have a half inch, and I keep it together with the spindle. Um, I have a center down here uh, that pokes into the back, because on the back of the spindle there is a and, and on the front, on both sides, because when they machined it originally, they had to have center marks, you know, for, for uh, turning. So I'm using those factory center marks that were created when they made the spindle to start with. Uh, anyway, I just whittled it all down and got rid of uh, everything I didn't need. So, uh, weird-ass dog here, but it catches in between, rises here, the bumps for the uh, brake drum, or the, yeah, the brake rotor. Uh, attachment. That's the mounting points for that. And I don't know how much you'll be able to see. Maybe nothing.